Alright, soon we're gonna take a cab to the NSTB warehouse, but first it has been brought to my attention that I need to talk to one of these Not my thing, don't care. There we go. There was an optional quest to meet all the Black Market vendors. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't leaving karma on the table. Speaking of karma on the table, I think at five right now, pretty sure I can spend that on something. Uh. Yes. That's gonna be me for melee for a little while now. Next, I'm gonna need to put some karma into being able to shoot a gun. Because sometimes I can't afford to wait to make it across an entire level to put a sword in someone. Sometimes bullets need to happen on the way. Yep, take me to the South Seattle Docks. The South Seattle Docks. Leaving the seamstress's union behind, you head to the docks. The ripper killed Sam, and maybe he or she slipped up with the latest victim. Left some useful evidence. Only one way to find out. South Seattle's your typical industrial area. Grit, grime, and gray. Rain doesn't help matters any. Layers of dirt mixed with abandoned wooden pallets, repurposed to make sh into makeshift furniture for the day workers. Garbage collect in the gutters of the broken down street. Disreputable is this district's middle name. Your destination, the National Transport Safety Board Warehouse, is located on a small strip of dock uh, towards the less maintained end of the waterfront. Despite the presence of those who linger in such places, it's quiet as you approach the gate. Now to get inside, like a ninja. Damn, front door's locked. Guess I have to go home. Hey there, streetwalker. Uh, what do you know about this place? Okay, so perhaps I should talk to the bum. gate and trigger some sort of dialogue about how I can't... Oh, there we go. Lone Star Guard. Uh, he looks bored, toys with his gun. You're about to trespass on corporate property. You're looking to get dusted. Don't have the etiquette to pull that off. It was worth a shot. Damn. Kind of want to put more points into charisma just to get those, uh, here, have new yin. Leave me alone. Do this, again. but I might drop some points into charisma just to pick up a couple more etiquettes. Well, if I'm gonna do that, I need to do it sooner than later. All right, game, where do you want me to put this ladder? Okay. 
I need to chew him off first. I want to talk to you more. Uh, can you tell me where? Oh, there we go. Fair cop. So you gotta make that real American New Year. Standard issue, ma'am. Armageddon. Get into the building. The warehouse. Inside, the large gray warehouse is as typical as the outside. High ceilings adorned with girders and rickety catwalks top a huge utilitarian room. Concrete and steel walls meet a concrete floor. This is a place for storing things and nothing more. Despite the quiet on the outside, the inside is a hornet's nest of Lone Star officers going about their business. In the center of the activity is the Emerald City Ripper's latest victim. With uniforms everywhere, no one stops you at the door. It seems this case hasn't leaked to the press yet. Lone Star, no, you've got a job to do. Uh, is that McCluskey? Damn it. traffic these days. Aww. Tell me about the NTSB. Oh, this might be some other shit. Yep. President, what you gotta say? <laughs> he knows how I work. Good. Male, mixed Native American said, age thirty-eight, based on body, looks like killed around you. Cause of death unknown, several internal organs removed from death, quite gruesome. Not sure if the killer knew what they wanted before they started cutting up, but hell yet. Does have a lot of pre existing scar tissue from major surgery. Definitely took lungs. They're missing, maybe. to bribe me to keep information from it. Inspired by their tireless pursuit of justice. Fair cop. A lady. Yep. Don't do theories. I'm just a scientist. Transplant parts. How's McCluskey doing? Fair cop. You got it. I am you're right. Okay. Maybe I can help.
Interesting. What you need? Personal items that belong to the victims. I'm not to speak about. It. Need at least two. You find the form. I will do what I can. Summon ghosts so spooky. Let's see. Large pile of shoes. I'll find nothing. Crash. First, inspect the cred stick. Yay, 200 bucks. Back to earring. Made of burma steel formed to the table of small salmon. That's primal fear washes over you. Okay, check the lunchbox. Okay. Got a locked door. Place I can't get into. Anything else to say? There, let's check this door. Here we go. Lockers. Uh, let's see. Toothbrush. go back to the shaman, let's check his computer. Uh, let's see. Check these. Case 95. Lane had several mechanical issues, resulting uh, in Mayday. Pilot reported that an altimeter, altimeter was reading in the negative values. Go pilot takes over the controls and pilot leaves to investigate the rear of the Pilot cannot be contacted by or located by plane steward. Go pilot radios mayday, plane crashes. Interesting. Uh, 96. Redacted. E8. Files have been corrupted. 96. The Aries jetliner. Crash reportedly result of equipment failure. Ooh. We call that pay data. Alright. This half sky, what can you show me? Things. Her brother, her business. We fight you, McCluskey. You still do the thing? You still do the thing? Just smile. Oh, thank you. Yeah, 
I didn't know New Union came in notes anymore. So, go back to the Union. Oh, what's up? Ah, uh, you know. I remember. All about a year ago, fell out. Oh, speaker, I am pretty Oops. On a cruise. Uh. For the deal. Coyote's Crusade. The cluster of dilapidated buildings where Coyote told you to meet her appears to be the remnants of a public housing project. Buildings look like a cesspool filled with human debris. You find her standing with Paco on a street corner, eyeing the roofs, the doorways, the windows. Despite his attempts to engage her, Coyote barely says a word as the three of you weave your way through the tenements. She walks purposefully, her new cyber hand flexing open and closed with each step. It's unclear whether the action is voluntary. You circle around to the back of the building and Coyote jumps up, grabs the bomb rung of the fire escape ladder and pulls it down. Without a signal, she starts to climb towards the roof. Paco looks at you worriedly and starts up the ladder. No sweat. No Sam's sister. Thanks. Should be in one of the squats in the north head. The lab set up. Usually a lookout looking for cops. Don't know how much fire power to expect. Stay on guard. Get in, grab Chino, get out. Coyote and Paco must survive. All right, let's do this. Got a twitchy orc. Oi, oi, how you doing? Guy's a clocker, trades work time for chips. Part salesman, part lookout. Probably has a signal device. Want to go on a ride? How rides can I go on? We got all of it. What you want to do? What you, you want to do some crime? You want to be bad? We can hook you up. Don't roll that way. You want to be a hero? Be a hero. Ah. Uh. Enough. Ooh. Sell beetles, right? Let me in. No reason to go loud yet. The sinless are free. Turn woman. Why are you so worried, lady? Thought the director selling beetles are killers. You never lost my husband, lost my son, lost my daughter. Wow. Oh, wow. Pets in the lab. Good to know. Oh, what kind of guards I got? Serious. Oh, we, it's a yak joint.
All right. We can do that. All right. Kids inside. Let's go get them. Charlie. Deals are a separate cost. Prices vary by those inside. I don't think we need passes. Nope! I'm good. See you on the way out. <laughs> hey, Jamal. Oh. Never mind. Yeah, we don't need to talk to you. Keep moving across the bridge. Oh, wow, this is a shithole. The entire floor of the sentiment has been given over to the chaos of technology and squalor. Across the room, a chromed out Decker argues loudly, an armed thug abruptly falling silent as they turn towards you. It's the crew that took out CVJ's place. I told you it was only a matter of time. Oh, that's not good. Mess with the wrong beta lab, Aho. No civvy casualties. You got a concussion grenade if it's needed. Time to rush down on that guy. Run, 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 run! Move to there. And to there. What have you got? You got some concussion too. Glad to see y'all are prepared for this bull. Oh, hey. Uh, I made one with a uh, fiber deck to mess with that computer. Maybe I won't need one. Ow! Oh! That hurt. Well, it looks like most of the tweakers are unarmed, so that's good. Chop your ass down! Working on it! Oh sweet, that stunned everyone. At least all the chip heads. Which leaves me open to do this. One more. Uh, how about you, just in case? Are you security? No, yeah, oh, yep. Oh, there's more security. All right, first and foremost, shut that down. Uh, sorry guys. And I don't have a kit. Oh well. Big damage. Uh, got a the machine gun if it reserves. Make use of that. Ah, uh, pop. Shotgun. More shotgun. There we go. Dogs are getting a little better. We got some magic coming. He's summoning some bullshit. 
Ooh. Oh. Oh no. Efficient mailed. <laughs> 